What's good YouTube fam? Brian here with a quick tutorial on how you guys can up your boomerang game on Instagram. You can go from this to this. If you guys like this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Instagram gives you the option to create boomerangs straight from their app and post them directly to your IG stories. It's cool and all, but if you want your boomerangs to stand out a bit, I suggest you continue watching this video. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to use the masking tool in Final Cut Pro to create a cool boomerang effect that you can post in your Instagram stories or your main page. First, capture your clips. If you want to create a video for IG stories, you must shoot vertically by tilting your camera sideways. If you want to create it for your main page on Instagram, then just shoot it the way you normally do. If you want to add some slow motion to your clips, then shoot in 60 frames per second on your camera, if possible. Now, to make something similar to what I did, you will need to pass by an object in frame while filming. Once you're done that, you can pretty much use any clip you want as the second one. I chose to make the same movement with the second clip, going left to right, just to go with the movement. This is not necessary though. Play around with the different types of clips that you have and see what works best with yours. Now, let's jump onto Final Cut Pro X. You need to decide whether you want to use the boomerang in your IG stories or your main feed. For this tutorial, I will create one for Instagram stories, so I will work with the clips that I shot vertically at the park. Create a new project with the dimensions 900 by 1600. Drag the clip where it passes by an object onto the project timeline. With the clip selected, change rotation to 90 degrees in the inspector tab. Also change the scale size until it fits the whole screen. Since I shot my clips in 60 frames per second, I'm going to slow it down to make it smoother. You can do this by going to the retiming options tab and selecting automatic speed. Press R on your keyboard to bring up the range tool and select the middle portion of your clip. You will need to show about a quarter of a second of the clip at the beginning and at the end. Now speed it up to about 4 times. Boomerangs are about a second long, but repeats a few times. Don't worry if your clip is slightly shorter or longer. It's really up to you how long or short you want it to be. Now look for the draw mask tool and drag it on top of the clip. Start placing the key points right when it starts to reveal on the other side of the object. Once you're done that, click on invert mask, add some feathering, and then add a key point to that. Also add key points to transforms and control points. Now go frame by frame by pressing the right arrow key and adjust the key points as you move along. Keep going until you get to the end of your clip. Now look for your second clip and add it below your first one. I will slow this down as well to smooth it out. Again, it is not necessary and it's totally up to you. Make sure to place it right when the masking starts below the first clip. Also, change the rotation and scale size for this one. Trim it so that it ends at the same time as the first clip. Now highlight both clips, right click, and select new compound clip. Highlight it and press Command C to copy. Now paste it right next to the first one. Highlight the second clip, head into the retiming options tab, and select reverse clip. Now select both clips, copy both with Command plus C, I will paste it about 3 more times just to make the entire video around 5 to 6 seconds long. Now color grade your footage as well if you want. This is totally up to you. Use Dropbox, Google Drive or AirDrop to get this to your phone so you can easily upload it to your Instagram. 